In this example, we're going to use the characteristic root method to find a closed formula for the nth Fibonacci number. So let's recall that the Fibonacci sequence is defined recursively by the next Fibonacci number, f sub n, is equal to the sum of the previous two, fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2. This is a second degree or second order recurrence relation with constant coefficients. Both coefficients are equal to 1 here. The initial conditions are that f0 is equal to 0 and f sub 1 is equal to 1. All right, so this is what we want to solve. And we went over the uh, characteristic root method for solving a recurrence relation in the last video. So I'll just remind you that what we have to do first is write down the characteristic, characteristic equation. And the characteristic equation, so equation, this comes from taking the coefficients. So in this case, uh, this is 1 and 1 and subtracting them over and what, what we end up with is that we get this quadratic equation here that r squared minus 1r minus 1 from this one should equal to 0. All right and our job is to solve for these roots first and then we'll be able to write down the solution um, but we will have to do a little bit more work on that solution to find the actual coefficients right but the first job is to solve this equation so this is a quadratic equation, we can solve this by completing the square. So we have r squared minus r equals 1. To complete the square we have to add one negative 1 half squared, so that's plus 1 fourth to both sides. The left hand side now factors perfect square, r minus a half quantity squared. The right hand side adds up to 5 fourths. And then if we square root both sides and uh, move over the half, what we end up with is that our roots are equal to 1 half plus or minus the square root of 5 halves or 1 plus or minus root 5 all over 2. So this is two real roots, two real roots for our r1 and our r2 and at this point we can write down our Fibonacci sequence closed form it's equal to, so f sub n is equal to alpha 1 times one of these, let's use the plus, doesn't matter because they're both going to be represented here. So 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power n plus the second constant alpha 2 times the other root, 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the power n. Okay, but now we need to solve for these unknown alpha coefficients and to do that we use this equation, right? Or sorry, this information, the, these two initial pieces of initial data. So f0 equal to 0, this one is going to give us a nice result without having to worry too much about these weird numbers with the, with the square roots in them. So f0 equal to 0 tells us that 0, f sub 0, is equal to alpha 1 times this number to the 0th power. That's just 1, right? Plus alpha 2 times this number to the 0th power, also just 1. So this then tells us that alpha 2 is equal to negative alpha 1, the negation of alpha 1. And we can then reduce this entire equation to be to have just one parameter here, right? So this then becomes uh, alpha 1, factor it out, times the first, right, 1 plus root 5 all over 2 to the power n, and then minus, right, alpha 2 gets replaced by a minus alpha 1. So minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the power n. And from here, we can then use the second piece of initial data to solve for alpha 1. So f sub 1 should equal 1. All right, so let's plug that in and find it out. So f sub 1 equals 1 tells us then what? That 1 is equal to alpha 1 times 1 plus root 5 all over 2 to the first power minus 1 minus root 5 all over 2 to the first power and then we just carefully work this out. We have alpha 1. First power means just leave it alone, right? And so then we have 1 half plus root 5 over 2 minus 1 half plus root 5 over 2. And this all works out to be root 5 times alpha 1. All right, and so our alpha 1, this is our only coefficient that we're missing, right? Is then equal to 1 over root 5. And we can plug back into here and write down a closed formula for the nth Fibonacci number. And what we get is this. So the nth Fibonacci number. 
very a seemingly very simple sequence has a has somewhat complicated looking at least formula All right but it is given by this closed formula f sub n is equal to 1 over root 5 times the difference of 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the nth power minus 1 minus root 5 all over 2 to the nth power and so there you go there's a closed formula for the nth Fibonacci number. You can start plugging in uh, values of n, make sure you get the right answers, but this will do it. This is the closed form of the Fibonacci sequence.